floor. There it is from Bob Moore, chopper floor. It's on the ground. It is on Did you get the power flashes there, Mike? Power See it. Power flashes. flashes. Yep. Tornado on the ground in Edmond. Yeah, th th this right now, th this is going to be about uh, one mile to a mile and a half just west of I-35 at about uh, 15th Street. Uh, definite power flashes. You can kind of still see the funnel right there. Uh, it might be difficult to pick up, but it's moving pretty much straight east, northeast, and uh, just more power flashes right there. That is a tornado yeah, confirmed see, yeah. on the ground producing damage in Edmond between 15th and 33rd and Bryant Avenues right now. It is on the ground. Let's go back to Reed Timmer and Dominator 4. Reed, what do you got? We're going to go east and we'll have a shot. Look at that. Cone-shaped tornado on the ground in Edmond right now. Cone-shaped tornado on the ground in Edmond. Crossing, it's crossing Bryant Avenue right now, just north of 33rd and just south of 15th. It is on the ground right now. That's, it is getting larger. It is getting larger. This is just to the northeast of Oklahoma Christian. It's heading for I-35 and 15th and 33rd. I think it'll cross at 15th Street. It's going to cross at 15th Street and I-35 here in just about a minute. And it's on the ground right now. It's heading for Lake Arcadia. And it's heading for the town of Arcadia on Route 66. Go, Reed Terror. Are you there? Hey, uh, can you hear me, Mike? Yes, go. Yes, there's a large tornado that was launched on a debris, producing debris, destructive tornado right now, closing on I-35 and 33rd, just north of 33rd, between 33rd and 15th. Uh, it's a large rising motion, debris getting lofted in the air. Keep going. Hey. You folks, you... It's on the ground here. Here you go. Here's We're talking y Yucca Drive. Southeast 27th, Cactus Court, Wendell Drive, clear as day. It's at Yucca Drive and 32nd Street in Southeast Edmond right now. Yucca Cactus, 32nd Street. It's going to cross I-35, halfway between 33rd and 15th. And it's right now halfway between I-35 and Coltrane. Right now is where it is. It's right there, and we clearly see it on velocity. It is a decent-sized tornado. Uh, John's got it there live from Bob Moore Chopper 4. Go, John. Yeah, Mike, right now, as you can see, this is coming on I-35. It's probably just about a mile to the west of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's about Lake Arcadia. Just If you cut Lake Arcadia in half and uh, went straight to the uh, west, that's about the track it's running. As you can see, it was vertical. Now it's kind of roping out a little bit. It's going more to the south. Uh, I'm going to turn the helicopter to the right here. I'm going to shoot through my skids for just one second so I can get a position and get you a little better shot. But uh, it's right there in the rain. As you can see, definite power flashes. We saw multiple, multiple power flashes. And it appears at this time it is just about to cross I-35, uh, about, I don't know, maybe just half a mile from crossing I-35 here, and it's going to hit, uh, it's going to go right for the dead center of Lake Arcadia. Yes, it looks like it'll go over Lake Arcadia. Uh, we clearly see it. It's on I-35 right now. The vortex is on I-35 right now. I see it clear as day on velocity. It's just a few miles north of the station here, and it's halfway between 33rd and 15th Street. It's on I-35 right now, exactly halfway between 15th and 33rd Street right now. Do we have Reed Timmer? Reed, are you there? It's across I-35 right here. Concrete is apart. It's exactly right. Is it? Is it? We're about to get hit by debris. Right here. Is it debris? Uh, take, there you can see it. There you see it. It's on I-35 right now. Go, Mark Dillon. We see.
I got some tree damage. I got a lot of debris down. In fact, the live truck was right here. They went right through it. The live truck was right here at 15. Like, it went right through it. They must, I hope they're all right. And then 